dominant performance there. Did you, did you have any gauge of how far the opposition was behind you? Uh, not really. You know, I, I wanted to work some parts, not the whole thing. I worked some parts I wanted to. I uh, got on the home stretch and I wanted to just uh, work on my body position. Mm -hmm. You know, I worked on my body position. I opened it up a little bit. I looked at the Jumbotron and saw I was in the lead, so I didn't have to run too hard. Sure. I remember you said yesterday in the press conference, you know, you win some, you lose some, obviously second in UG. And are right. you someone who, do you let uh, sorry, defeat Fester or are you just waiting for that next one to get out no, and redeem yourself? You know, I've been doing it for a long time. You know, uh, this is my 10th year. You know, I turned pro when I was 18. So I, I, I've seen the ups and downs. I've had the ties. I've had the losses. And I know you take it a race at a time. You know, once the race is over, you, you figure out what happened, how you can improve, and on to the next race. Sure. And obviously, we're big in sport on rivalries. And you and Karani, you love going head to head because he brings out the best in you. I do. Uh, he's going to always run. You know, a lot of people in the field, the, the nine men that lined up here was hungry and they wanted to go at it. Uh, I saw Josh Mant. He's a good friend of mine out in lane one. Mm -hmm. And he, he ran some. I don't know what his final time was, but he definitely ran to 300 meters. But I just kept my composure and finished up strong. Perfect. And when are we next going to see you in the Diamond League? New York. Okay. All the best and thanks Thank for talking to us.